How's it going gamer? You got hands here. And today in Dauntless, we're going over two awesome builds for Pangarn's Hammer. We have a great strong strong build and we have an Iceborne build for you today. So stay tuned for both of them. What's really great about Pangarn's weapons is the new unique ability where you place a frost brand or a bomb on the behemoth. And if you detonate it before 30 seconds, it does plus 50% damage. So it is really fun rocking these weapons, especially in Escalation or, or in even irregular hunts. It's all good because these are just great weapons. Remember, gamer, if you like this video and you want to see more, please don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button and click on that bell for notifications. So you know what's coming up next. Turn on your system, grab your hammer, and let's get ready. We're about to get in this video right now, y'all. What is up gamers hands at you with another build today like I said this time we're rocking Pangarn's Rampage It's a pretty dope hammer. They're pretty great weapons Especially after they got their new unique ability Changed to where you place a frost band that does a certain amount of damage depending on the weapon and after 30 seconds It explodes, but if you detonate it before that it does 50% increased damage So this is really fun to play with what you're gonna want to put in there is an overpower cell and then a sturdy cell if you feel that you need a little bit of help, definitely put in a Parasitic because that's almost like Iceborne, so it definitely helps. But in this video, I have two builds, an Iceborne build and a Strong build. So this is all entirely up to you. I choose to use Sturdy. For the special, definitely use Concussive Salvo or Mighty Landbreaker for even more damage. But I like Concussive Salvo to interrupt Behemoths, but it depends on what I'm doing, like Escalation or regular patrols. For the mod, without a doubt, extended clip because it increases your ammo to six. So that's more damage, more ammo, more, you know, when you throw down your hammer slam and it just trails along by, that's even extended clip, which extends that as well. For the headpiece that's Resicuris, we're going to put a Wild Frenzy cell in there. For the chest piece, that's Shrouds, and we're going to put a Discipline cell. The arms are Malcarions, and you're going to put another Predator cell in there. These are Charog's legs, and we're going to put an Overpower cell. And for the lack of attack speed that Hammer has, we're going to be using Embermane's Rapture because that increases our attack speed by 25% for 8 seconds. And that syncs really well when you use Conduit because then Conduit is on the Lantern Hold and on the Lantern Tab you get that increased attack speed. So if you can maintain doing damage and get your Lantern to charge back up so you can keep up that attack speed, that'll be real nice. And you could definitely use uh, something else besides that, like we could switch the build up slightly and make it a catalyst build, but we're not going to get into that today. If you're going to use tonics, throw down with Blitz, Assault, and Frenzy. They are really good and make the build go super awesome. So all in all, what we got going on is a plus 6 conduit that increases our attack speed by 15%. Overpower is 60% damage when they're staggered. And then Predator is 35% damage if you can avoid not to get hit. Rage is a consistent 25% damage all the time because we're rocking Discipline, which keeps us at half health, but it also increases our critical strike chance. The Knockout King becomes from the weapon. We're not going to max that out because you don't need 30% increased stagger damage because if you add more damage cells to your build, that'll increase your damage across all boards. So your part damage, your base damage, and your stagger damage. So we're going to keep that at a plus 3. We already talked about Sturdy, and then there's Wall Frenzy for an extra boost of attack speed. So our attack speed is coming from the Lantern, from Conduit, and from Wild Frenzy. If you can fit another plus 3 in there, that would be really great, but this is a solid, great build, and it's definitely awesome in all areas, and especially in Escalation without a doubt. So for the next build, this is the Iceborne build. Same weapon, obviously, and you're going to put a Rage Cell in there and an Iceborne Cell. And for the special, we talked about that. You can choose what you want, but definitely rock Extended Clip. For the headpiece, it's also Resicuri's head, and we're going to put a Wild Frenzy Cell in there. The Shroud is this chest piece, and you're going to put an Overpower Cell. The Arms, or Torgodoros, that has an Overpower, and you're going to put a Discipline Cell in that bad boy. And the legs, because we're trying to have an Iceborne build, is Boreas's, which comes with Iceborne, and you're going to throw another Wild Frenzy cell. And then for the Lantern, you can definitely use Drask's Eye, but I, like I said, I prefer Ember Mains for the increased attack speed, without a doubt. And don't forget to rock with, with Conduit. And if you want, you could definitely use Drask, but it depends on how you feel the build attack, so it's entirely up to you. And you can definitely use Tonics to help with the attack speed and the damage, but it's a great build all in all. 
So what we got going on for this is a plus six conduit, a plus six iceborne, a plus six overpower, a plus six rage, a plus six wild frenzy, and then discipline and knockout. So you can see it's got some solid good damage and attack speed buffs. And it has the Iceborne, which really helps us stay alive. So you choose your favorite build. I really love them both, but I definitely love the Iceborne one because of the plus six wall frenzy. All right, gamers, that's all I got for you today. Hey, if you need any specific builds, you know you guys can hit me up in the comments section. I always answer, and I definitely always try to help you out. So don't ever hesitate to hit me up, guys. I'm a cool, chill bro. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and on Twitter. I'm trying to grow my following there as well, so I'd really appreciate some support on Twitter and on Instagram. And those links will be in the video's description. Alright, that's all I got. This is Han signing out. Peace, y'all.